In today's session, let's see the date time formatting using Data V version 2 and mainly concentrate on these four points. Let's see how to get the date and time information in different time zones. And let's see how to identify the time zone uh, from the given date time information. And also let's extract the date or time information in specific format. Uh, for example, if you want the year at the end with the date and month separated by slashes or commas, and let's see how to get it that particular format. And also we'll see how to subtract the date time to date time information. And once we get the subtracted value, let's see how to convert that to minutes or hours or different units. And for this activity, I am using DataView Playground. And you can go to Google search and search for DataView Playground. Uh, you will get a DataView interactive learning environment. So I am already there. Uh, this is uh, similar to what we get here, where in uh, AnyPoint Studio, where we can upload the input and also we can preview the output. Uh, uh, we can edit here and we can preview the output. The same way we can try here in the Data View Playground also. We can upload the payload and when you type the payload, you will get the exact same information. Try if you get only train number you will get so for now i'm not using the payload uh, i'm directly using uh, the daytime values here the hard-coded values for example now if i try with the now function it's currently returning me the current date and time information this is a uh, date information uh, june 15th and if you see the time it is 12 40 and uh, we are not sure in which particular time zone uh, it's returning me the values uh, so now let's convert this value to some particular uh, time zone let's convert this to utc yes in utc it's 12:41. in pst okay now i'm giving the wrong value so it's saying one is daytime and one is string, which is not a time zone. It should be daytime and time zone. We are getting this warning because PST is directly uh, automatically getting converted to a time zone. So manually we will convert to time zone. Yeah, now we don't see the warning now. Uh, now it's in PST and for uh, the time zone information you can go um, search online and you can see the list of time zones and for now uh, I'll try with some uh, time zones which I know uh, PST and um, if you have America and New York and it's 8.42 here, right? If you see the New York time, it's 8.42. If you see for Los Angeles, then... Then it's 5.42. Correct? Yes, it's 5.42. And uh, same way for India, it's IST. It's 18.12. It's 18.12 here also, right? So we, uh, for any uh, any daytime information you have, you can just take that information and convert that to the time zone you want. Uh, for example, in real workflow, you, you are getting some value from GMT a time zone and you want it to convert to UTC, then you can do that. Now it's getting converted to UTC or IST. It's 16.05. So uh, this is string, right? So we have to tell. Uh, let's convert this to a data so we don't get the warning. Otherwise, you can tell the string to con consider it as a date time or there is one more way. 
for date time information you can use th this symbol which is by default considered as a date time information okay now this particular value i am converting it to ist uh, uh, the time date time information of ist so this is how for any date time information you can convert to that particular time zone uh, if you have uh, the time uh, date time information from two different time zones then you have to convert to one particular time zone uh, then you can see the differences right uh, because they will be in the same time zones so this is how you can uh, convert the date time information to particular time zone okay and uh, next let's see how to identify the time zone uh, okay now it's ist let's see now now is actually giving this information but we are not sure in uh, by default in which time zone it's returning us the value so now uh, let's take a pair date now date as let's format and check the time zone we check for that it's tell what time zone it is if you use a uh, year then it gives you the year right if you we use a check it will say the uh, hour in which month it is if you use mm it will give you the use this it will give you June. it gives you the full name so so for that for that it gives you the uh, time zone how did i know that we have to use z for time zone or to get the time zone uh, yeah, there is a oracle document where you have the complete list of these values so what was that value is that for that it's a time zone right uh, for q it is quarter of the year right so q also we can try it is june right june is the second quarter second quarter let's see this is the value as string format that and if it is web consider it as a date so if it's feb it's a first word so if it's 12 it's fourth word right if in six or six it's a second word so this is how you can get you can get from Okay, let's first see how to uh, identify the time zone. Right now, let's see. Let's convert the current date time to some particular uh, UTC as a as time zone. Okay. Now let's see as string format. And that it's UTC, right? If it is IST, it's IST. If it is DMT, yeah. 
its GMT zone. Okay, this is how you can uh, get that particular time zone and later in real times you can get the time date time information and you can convert to that particular um, time zone for your uh, uh, addition or subtraction so this this is how you can get the time zone information from the date time okay cdt and this is how you can get the time zone information and next let's see how to extract the date or time information using this format uh, okay uh, specific format right now let's format we are we are already getting the date time information let's format in some years you want you also you can use or i also you can use uh, and then slash month you should use capital m for month if you use small it gives you the different value you can see what is uh, the use of capital m or small m here in the document for now it should be capital for month and then date it's 15 right there and also we can use hh uh, for uh, hours and minutes if you want it this way or space minutes so for for more understanding let's take some uh, example in 24 hours format and let's see how do we get the hours It's 11, right? Let's change it to 21. And now let's check with capital. It's 21, right? Capital H, small h has a difference. So it's uh, 12 hours and 24 hours. Uh, that would be changed uh, in the way we use the letters, capital or small. You can use K also and capital K also similarly just like it and um, this way you will uh, get minutes and seconds and uh, this is how you can take any date time and then uh, get in your time zone particular time zone and then as a string you can format it in the way you want okay uh, this is how we can do the format date time formatting and uh, sorry, where is so the next uh, point is how to subtract the date time information. Let's uh, take two date time um, information and subtract. Let's take this only for subtraction. Uh, there is no difference, right? So let's changed one day so 24 hours and uh, let's decrease one more so 25 hours and five minutes 25 hours five minutes difference right so uh, this is uh, when you subtract two date time information you will get uh, the difference in the format of this period p is a uh, period indicates time 25 hours hours and 5 minutes if there is second difference you will get uh, s also let's see let's do 4 seconds you will get in seconds also and also um, let's uh, change to 30 minutes difference or 60 minutes difference I'll change to 15 let's see 1 hour 5 minutes 4 seconds difference right 1 hour means 60 minutes 65 minutes totally 
So from this subtracted information, let's extract the total number of minutes. Let's convert this to a number, then units, minutes, 65 minutes. If you take hours, it's just one. If you take seconds, it will be more, but I want it in minutes, 65 minutes, right? And this is how you can um, check. Uh, since uh, the difference is in PT, right, you can only get the time units. You can get the uh, final response only in uh, minutes, hours or seconds because it uh, it's returning the difference in t okay you cannot extract the hours if you want you can manually do it and also based on the version you will get the difference if you change to 2021 you you are getting the total hours not in uh, years or date date format you are not getting the year difference one year difference and all so based on the version of the data we went uh, the mule you will uh, you can see the difference and now the uh, the difference is written in total in hours okay now uh, in this example let's uh, let's consider if you want to uh, uh, subtract one month how do you do it p then T is for time, so we don't want to use time because we want to subtract one month, so one month. You can see it is changed to five. All other details are as it is. If you want to subtract by one year, you can do 2021. One year, one month, one day and all, you can do. One year, one month, one day. Right, you can add also. Uh, from from the given response, if you just want to subtract one day, then you can just do one day minus. So it's 15. Here in the response, it's 14. Right, once, once you... Um, yeah, this is how you can... Um, do the subtraction but if you want to subtract two date time information you will get uh, the subtracted information in the form of hours total number of hours so that you can convert into uh, the units you want minutes or seconds or anything yeah. um, that's all i have if you have any comments or suggestion if you have any questions also please ask in the comment thank you